Thanks guys for joining me at How to Be a Pro at World of Tanks. Pretty much what I do is I show pro tips and different tactics and just pretty much review tanks and for you to be able to understand how to play them and if you actually want to go for them. So today we have the MT-25. Now the MT-25 was actually a derivative of the T-50-2 which was introduced um, a few patches ago but was also removed because of its imbalance compared to real life situations. T-50-2 was actually not as powerful as what was per, um, put in the game. So instead they gave us a very much slower tank which had the same gun but very much slower. Um, but now in 9.1 this tank has been severely upgraded. This tank is now so much faster. Now just a few specs. I currently put on this gun, the 57mm. Um, I shoot very rapidly, doing an average of 85 damage for 112 pen, which is my favorite thing. I could also put the machine gun on, um, but I prefer not doing that. Or maybe even the 45mm, but I don't know about that. I, I prefer having high pen, considering you do see tier 8s in this tank, and tier 9s, and I believe even tier 10s. Um, I've eluded this tank at this point. Um, you have two different turrets. The engine is 700, 700 horsepower, which is way better than it used to be. Um, the tracks um, have been increased also, and the single range of the radio is good. I have vents and um, enhanced gun lang drive because I believe that this tank really needs to have as many shots fast as possible. It is not an American chaffee, though, in its accuracy on the run. Um, the shells do decent stuff. Um, and s different details, um, the turret is 48, so that's very rapid. Now you can see my crew is pretty up there, so we're just going to run a battle, and currently this tank is elite, so I do not have any more things to research upon. All the XP goes directly to my crew members. Alright, this is variously matched. I should be at a lot of points in this match, considering that I am a tier 6 scout with a top-notch crew, elite tank, fighting tier 6s and 7s, and even 5s and 4s. So this should work out well. The important things is that ever since 9.1, the speed has incredibly upgraded. Typically I would take a little bit of a while to get to 50. Now it takes me almost no time to get 60 and 70. Also, I can turn so much better than I could before. Now the MT-25 is how it should be played is it is a scout so it can really scout very well yet at the same time the gun just does so much it has such great rapidity I can totally get around an enemy and turn around them and shoot them up especially with the new track upgrade I can go very rapidly around an enemy tank. This tank is an excellent tank to get behind enemies and just start shooting into them because of the high rate of fire enemies oftentimes will not be able to very clearly counter you. I will stay away from getting too many hits considering I do only have 570 HP which is still very good considering I'm only a tier 6 but um, I would definitely steer away from trying to use this tank as a brawler as it is it has very thin armor although its armor is very slanted and will get very occasional bounces from lower tier tanks. At this point it's more of a full out rush of the team so I'm just gonna try to snipe that tank over there if that tank is, a is available. Oh yes I just I do have um... Uh, there we go. Alright. T20 is trying to get some shots on us. I will lag out. I lagged out there for a second. Wasn't able to move very smoothly as I would expect. I will run around the Dicker Max um, if the team covers me and the enemy incursion is not too great. Now as usual with scouts you want to try to keep your calm. Now instead of trying to keep my eyes on every single tank in the match, what I did is I just auto lock. They do not have Artie, so I do not have to f fear too much. That M4 with its derp should be able to do a lot of damage to me, so I prefer not pulling out until he has used its shell. His shell. He does. As long as he's not looking at me, I'm just going to keep on auto locking and shooting. Ah, well, he was so low. I'm going to flank this Hellcat. 
team is not being very effective right now. Now the M4 is mine. Hopefully the M4 will not get a direct shot. I do have another medium somewhere else. Or not. Okay, the right Chi. I hate those tanks so badly. That three-shot machine gun is very effective against ev everyone, pretty much. Uh, okay, yeah, I do not want to meet up with that tank. not looking all right I shall engage by maybe B4 area seeing as the situation allows oh, T21 okay that panther is low health but that guy doesn't see me so I'm just gonna get right behind him and unload into him staying away from the panther hitting me whoa why am I not able to pull back well doesn't really do a difference at this point. Yeah, it would have been nice if I hadn't got stuck in that little thing. I don't know what it is. Whoa. Was the panther even shooting at me? The panther was not the one shooting at me. That means... Alright. Yeah, the panther was the one shooting, considering they only have three guys left. So if I can just flank this panther... I could also snipe. This tank snipes very well. Right. In this situation, I am the only one in this area, so I shall escape myself. They, <laughs> the IS is attacking. I could potentially pen him, but just to make sure, I'm gonna load gold. Ah, sick. I am running. You know what? Forget that. You're mine, buddy. And you do see that I did use gold shells, but that was because I was fighting for my life. The panther is the last enemy alive, and that run. Yes, um, the panther should have helped the IS, but at this point they had lost. Because of the fast turn rate of the tank, I had an HD. Sorry about that, guys. The sound got messed up. So here you're able to see the various tanks I was able to damage and spot, um, just some really great stuff. Here the amount of XP I was able to do, the amount of damage, which was very, very high. Seriously very high. The team did well though. It was good teamwork and here, I, it cost a lot of shell, but that was because I used so many gold shells. I would highly suggest the post 9.1 MT25, if I ever get the chance of getting this tank, get it. Thanks for watching guys, and enjoy my series on where I give pro tips of how to play.